Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Okay. Let's see, we have, uh, there's Kimberly Novlasco, Sulva Beatriz, Rodrigo Daniel Melendez, Diego Anthony, Josue Rivas, Paola Iglesias, oh, a visitor. <laughs> okay, and Marvin also, I see Marvin here. Let's see. Okay, so everybody, welcome to this new class. I'm going to start sharing the screen right now. Just number one right here. Let's begin. Okay, um, can everybody see the screen I am sharing? Hello? Okay, great. So be welcome once again. This is Inglés Intermedio, Modulo 3. Again, that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is Intermediate 3, Session 6, and today is September the 13th. 2022. So welcome once again. Today we're going to learn a lot and we're going to check the homework. That's the first thing. Okay, so this is the homework. If you remember yesterday, I assigned this as homework. Your turn. Write one sentence using both the past simple and the past continuous. And there is an example right here. On January 13th, 2001, I was doing the dishes when the earthquake began. Okay, I remember I was doing the dishes, then the earthquake began and I thought, oh my God, okay, it's an earthquake. So I ran out of the house and uh, all the neighbors were there and everybody was scared. It was very scary. So um, I'm going to ask you one by one. Quedamos, ¿verdad? Que les iba a preguntar a todos los presentes al principio de la clase. Así que ahí vamos. Okay, so... Please, just read your sentence. We begin with Kimberly in Olasco. Please, Kimberly. I don't know why I thought that you <laughs> said I was, okay. Okay. Um, my sentence is, um, I was making dinner when my neighbor arrived. I was making dinner when my neighbor arrived. Very good, okay. And the reason why I chose you first is because you're first in the list. Then next is Sulma. <laughs> Sulma is next in the list. Okay, Sulma, your sentence, Good please. Good evening. Uh -huh. eh, oh, bueno, la mía es relacionada un poco a esto. Okay. Al ejemplo. Okay, no problem. On January 30, 2001, I was playing. Uh, arranca cebolla with my <laughs> sister in the yard of, of my house, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. When the earthquake, uh, no sé si decir, ocurrió. ocurrió you can say occurred or, began. or okay. happened or began or okay. started. Mm -hmm. All of those are occur. possible. Um, okay. Luckily, it was only... Uh, Material damage. Okay. Entonces la pila crack. Oh my God. La pila. <laughs> okay, so the sink cracked. Okay, wow. Okay, um, very good. So uh, Sulma just uh, told us the sentence using past continuous and past simple. And also she used one of the narrative adverbs. She said, luckily, okay, very good. That was also part of the homework. Now, next is Marvin, Joseph. Marvin, your turn. Okay, teacher, I was running in the park when the rain began. When began. the rain began, okay. I was running in the park when the rain began. Okay, good. Thank you, Marvin. Nady, you're next. Um, on January 13, to Russian, I was having breakfast when the uh, headquarters started. Okay, on January 13th, 2001, I was having breakfast when the earthquake started. Yes, a desayuno, yes. almuerzo, porque ya casi eran las 12. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> no problem. So, yeah, thank you. I was having breakfast when the earthquake started. Okay, great. Uh, next will be, we have Zulma, we have Azulma, right, Marvin, Perla. Hello, teacher. 
Okay, Perla. Yes. Good evening. Oh, it's not Perla. <laughs> Wait a second. Who is this? When? Um, on my day of, um, sorry, on my day of, um, I was sleeping late uh, when my son asked, asked, uh, asked me to help him uh, with his homework. Okay. All right. When my son asked me to help him with his homework. Okay. Very good. Uh, tal vez nada más podemos ahí cambiar el nombre porque le sale ahí Perla. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, uh, solo para, para evitar confusión, en verdad. Ok. Thank you. Ok, Sulma has participated, Marvin has participated. Let's see, Rodrigo Daniel, please. Rodrigo, are you there? Okay, then Diego Anthony. Diego? Oh my God. No? Then Josue Rivas. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, on February 13, mm -hmm. um, 2001, I was in class at my school. Mm -hmm. uh, when the earthquake began. Okay, that's the second earthquake. Okay, uh, second, so second earthquake. Aha, the second earthquake. So I was in class at my school when the earthquake began. Uh, muy bien, la oración está bien, nada más que no fue empleado el past continuous, ¿verdad? ¿Se recuerda qué estaba haciendo específicamente? Porque me dice dónde eh, estaba, pero no qué estaba haciendo. In class. Ajá. In class. Bueno, in class entonces class. podemos decir, por ejemplo, on February, February, sorry, 13th, 2001, I was paying attention in class, maybe. I was paying attention in class when the earthquake began, okay. por ejemplo. Or I was uh, copying the class when the earthquake began, etc. cetera, okay? okay? Yeah, I was in school, I remember, <laughs> for the second earthquake. I don't remember what I was doing. Okay, thank you, Josué. We'll continue with uh, Rebecca Stefania, please. Hello. Hello. Uh, on January 13, mm -hmm. I was sleeping in front of the TV when the earthquake began. Okay. <laughs> I was sleeping in front of the TV when the earthquake began. Okay, good. Yeah, because I was a baby. You were a baby. Oh, my gosh. You're very young. Okay. <laughs> but, but if you were a baby, you don't remember this. Maybe your mother told you. Or your father told yeah. you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Very young. I was 15 years old. Ooh, that was a long time ago. I am old now. I'm 37. Okay. Sandra Patricia. Thank you, Rebecca. It's Sandra Patricia's turn. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I am 15 years old. Ah, don't because, worry. <laughs> because I was in my work. Don't worry, don't worry. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, okay. the, it's, the, it's the sentence. <laughs> the sentence, please. Uh -huh. No, I, 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 I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I thought you were excusing yourself. Uh -huh. No, okay, no, okay. So I, you can say. Can you repeat it, please? I, I am coming late this uh -huh. class because I was in my work. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, uh, because I live late of my work. Okay, live. because I left late, you can say, because I left I late. Left late. I left late. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, very good. Solamente que no, se, no fue utilizado el past continuous, eso es lo único, ¿verdad? Pero la oración en términos generales está bien. Ok, podría ser algo como, digamos, eh, no sé, se me ocurre. Um, I was driving home, ok, when I got stuck in traffic. ¿verdad? Iba conduciendo hacia la casa cuando 
me quedé atascado o atascada en su caso en tráfico. Por mm -hmm. darle un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ok. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's time to continue. Um, you did your homework. Very good. We're going to go on to the next part, which is the lesson objective. Let's take a good look. In this class, participants will listen and practice a conversation where people are catching up on news, pay attention to the use of present perfect continuous in context. Vamos a algo nuevo acá. Eso es nuevo tiempo, que es present perfect continuous. Un poquito más complejo que lo anterior que hemos visto, pero vamos a tratar de facilitarlo lo más posible. Okay, there's a conversation. What have you been doing? I need two volunteers, one boy and one girl, to help me read this conversation. The boy will be Pete, the girl will be Gina. So please, one man, one woman. Volunteers, please, two people. Okay, Sandra, you will be Gina. Now I need uh, one man, please, to play Pete. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rodrigo, Daniel. Okay, let's do it. So Rodrigo, you're Pete, and uh, Sandra, you're Gina, please. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Okay. Okay, Rodrigo, you may begin. Okay. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in age. What have you been doing late, lately? Lately? Uh huh. Late. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. I've been working to job for the last six months. How come? I'm saving out money for the a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money and I'm pursuing. Pursuing. Or I'm pursuing? I'm pursuing. Mm -hmm. I'm pursuing a full time modeling career. Modeling career. Really? really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduate. Since. But Sorry. Since. 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 Uh -huh. since. since. Since I graduate. But I haven't been getting any work later, lately. Mm -hmm. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. I'm almost out of money. Thank you very much. Okay, Sandra and Rodrigo. I'm going to read the conversation. Pete says, hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Gina says, nothing exciting. I have been working two jobs for the last six months. Pete says, how come? By the way, what is the meaning of how come? Do you know the meaning? What is that? How come means? Not exactly. Yeah. Okay, it's it's uh, it's a lot simpler. Okay, how come? Como decir cómo es eso. So 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 so. How come means why? That's the meaning. Cuando alguien le dice usted how come, le está diciendo por qué. Suena un poco extraño, pero así es. Créanme. <laughs> how come is why. Por eso, en la oración, bueno, en la, en la conversación, le dice, I have been working two jobs for the last six months. Y cualquiera diría, ¿y por qué estás? ¿Por qué llevas dos trabajos? Okay. How come? Why? Okay. Then uh, Gina says, I am saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Pete says, well, that's exciting. And Gina says, yeah, it is. What about you? Pete says, well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Gina says, really? How long have you been modeling? And Pete says, since I graduated. But I haven't been getting any work lately. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Casi se me acaba el dinero. So uh, you will find this, by the way, sorry, um, in the platform. There's a platform. Let me show you. Okay. 
here's a platform. But we are in the wrong a second. Oops. Just a moment, please. The computer is a bit slow today. Okay, section two. Here we go. Okay, this is 2.7. This is the lesson objective, and then we have present perfect continuous. This is what you will find. Again, there is a video explained by Ms. Jessica. I highly recommend you watch the video. And the content is here. Okay, by the way, uh, here we go. By the end of this class, participants will understand, use, and practice the present perfect continuous. And here's the grammar focus. Present perfect continuous. You use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. Un poco simplificada, eh, digamos así, la explicación. Vamos a verla en un poquito más de detalle. Pero aquí tenemos los ejemplos. Esto aparece en el video. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. And have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. And in the video, you will also find this. Okay, but this is something you need to do at home. Right now, here's my explanation. Let's take a look at this. It has been raining. Study this example situation. You see this. Is it raining? The answer is no. Right now, it's not raining. But the ground is wet. El suelo está mojado. So you say, it has been raining. This is the present perfect continuous. Ha estado lloviendo. Por eso está mojado el suelo. Okay, it has been raining. Ahorita no está lloviendo, pero ha estado lloviendo. Por eso está mojado. What is the form? Here's the form. Take a look. You use the subject, and then you need an auxiliary verb. The auxiliary is have. For the subjects, I, we, you, and they. But if the subject is he, she, or it, you have to use has, okay? Now, there is a contracted form, a short form, and that is apostrophe VE when the subject is I, we, you, or they, or apostrophe S when the subject is he, she, or it. So again, I have, he has, we have, she has, you have, it has, they have, okay? So that's the first part. You need an auxiliary verb. Have when the subject is I, we, you, and they, and has when the subject is he, she, or it. Next, you need, hmm, wait a second. Okay, that's better, sorry. Okay, next you need the verb be in past participle. And that verb be in past participle is been. You always use been in the present perfect continuous. Always, always, always. It always goes there. So you use been. And after that, you need to use the main verb in ing form, okay? Just watching in this case. So you say, for example, I have been watching TV. He estado viendo la tele. He has been watching TV. Él ha estado viendo la tele. That will be the equivalent in Spanish. And in this case, you have, it has been raining. Ha estado lloviendo. Okay? So remember, you need the subject, then the auxiliary, have or has. After that, you need the verb be in past participle, which is been, and then the verb in ing. Les voy a dar una clave también para que puedan identificar los tiempos de verbo. Por lo general, la clave está en el nombre. Si el nombre del tiempo de verbo es present perfect continuous, aquí podemos ver una cosa. Todos los tiempos de verbo que llevan la palabra perfect llevan un past participle. Siempre. En este caso, ¿cuál es el past participle? Este, been. Y todos los que dicen continuous llevan un verbo en ing. 
como este se llama present perfect continuous, lleva ambas. Lleva un verbo en, pres, en, en past participle form, que sería ven, y lleva un verbo en ing, que es, en este caso, watch. ¿Ok? Así que esa es la estructura. Pero ¿cómo se utiliza? Vamos a verlo aquí en detalle. We use the past, sorry, the present. I've been, I'm sorry about this. It's the present perfect continuous for an activity that has recently stopped or just stopped. There is a connection with the present. ¿Cómo lo vamos a utilizar? Es para una actividad que ha terminado recientemente. ¿Ok? pero tiene un efecto en el presente. Como este hombre que está acá. You're out of breath. Parece que te falta el aliento. Have you been running? Ok. ¿Qué pasa con él? Hace poco dejó de correr. Por eso está así. Por eso está todo cansado. Parece que le falta el aire. You're out of breath. Have you been running? ¿Has estado corriendo? Second sentence, Paul is very tired. He has been working very hard, okay? He has been working very hard. Next, why are your clothes so dirty? What have you been doing? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? Next. I have been talking to Amanda about the problem and she agrees with me. He estado hablando con Amanda sobre el problema y ella está de acuerdo conmigo. And the last one, where have you been? I've been looking for you. Te he estado buscando. I have been looking for you. Ahora, ¿se acuerdan que les dije acá? There is a connection with the present. Por lo general, hay un resultado en el presente. Por ejemplo, aquí dice, you're out of breath. What have you been running? Sorry, have you been running? I'm sorry, made a mistake. You're out of breath. Have you been running? Now look. Te pregunta si ha estado corriendo. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es el resultado o la conexión con el presente? ¿Quién me puede responder? Ok, Neidy. ¿Por qué lo mira cansado? Uh -huh. Así es, le dice, you're out of breath. Y se parece que te falta el aliento, pero le falta el aire. Esa es la conexión con el presente. Aquí se ocupa el present perfect continuous. Very good. Luego dice, Paul is very tired. He has been working very hard. Aquí está el present perfect continuous. What is the connection with the present? Who knows the answer? What is the connection with the present? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se conecta esto que dice He has been working very hard con el presente? Paul is very tired. Because tired. Paul is very tired. Ahí podemos ver que está cansado. Se está durmiendo. Entonces, ¿qué pasó? He has been working very hard. Ha estado trabajando muy duro. Por eso está cansado. Ok, very good. Thank you. Then you have, why are your clothes so dirty? What have you been doing? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? What is the connection with the present? ¿Ha estado corriendo? Mm, not exactly. Mm. If you see uh, example number three, why are your clothes so dirty? What have you been doing? Mm -hmm. What's the connection with the present? ¿Cuál es el resultado en el presente para esa pregunta? What have you been doing? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? Ajá. Uh -huh. Who has an idea? Please participate. Nady. Es que lo ve sucio. Ajá, uh -huh. tiene la ropa sucia. ¿verdad? Entonces, why are your clothes so dirty? The dirty clothes, that's the result in the present. Very good. Now, take a look at this. Also, y esto está más relacionado a lo que está en el video, ¿verdad? We use the present perfect continuous with how long. ¿Cuánto tiempo? For and since. 
to show that an activity is still happening or has just stopped. Examples. How long have you been learning English? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado aprendiendo inglés? How long have you been learning English? When you say, how long have you been learning English? That means you're still learning English. Todavía está en proceso de aprender. Todavía sigue aprendiendo. So, how long? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Have you been learning English? Second example. Sam is still watching TV. He has been watching TV since he woke up. Desde que se levantó, ha estado viendo la tele. So, he's been watching TV since he woke up. He woke up. And the last one, where have you been? I've been looking for you for the last half hour. Okay, I have been looking for you for the last half hour. Te estaba buscando por la última media hora. Okay, so uh, you use present perfect continuous for actions that started in the past and continue into the present. You can use the present perfect continuous for actions repeated over a period of time. For example, this is Sylvia. Sylvia is a very good tennis player. She has been playing since she was eight. That means when she was eight, she began playing tennis. And then she continued playing tennis when she was nine, then when she was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, et cetera, et cetera. Now she's 25 years old and she continues playing tennis. Okay, so she has been playing since she was eight. Second example, every morning they meet in the same cafe. Se encuentran en el mismo cafe. They have been going there for years. Han estado yendo al mismo cafe por años. Okay, that's present perfect continuous. Now, very important, always remember, you have to use the auxiliary, in this case, have, then been, always been, and then the main verb in ing. Also, the auxiliary has, when the subject is he, she, or it, then been, always been, and then the main verb in ing. Okay? Before we continue, do you have any questions? Because we're going to do an exercise right now, so I need to know if you have questions. If you have questions, please ask me now. Any questions? No Any questions? questions. Uh -huh. Any questions? No questions oh, then. No questions. No questions. Okay. Okay. Good. So what are we going to do now? This is your turn. What are you going to do? Read the situations and complete the sentences. You have to use the present perfect continuous tense. Okay, van a ocupar el present perfect continuous en cada ocasión. We're going to work on the breakout rooms. We have 12 participants. We're going to have breakout rooms of three people. Now, wait a second. That's 12 with me. It's probably not going to work. Let's see. Breakout rooms. Four. Okay. We're going to create four rooms. Van a estar distribuidos así. Okay, there is uh, room one, Jose Rivas, Kimberly, and Zulma. Room two, there is Marvin, Sandra Patricia, y quien era que iba con el nombre de Perla. <laughs> okay, va en ese grupo también. Okay, room three, we have Nady, Rebecca, and Rodrigo. And in room four, you have Diego and Rodrigo Daniel. Okay, I'm going to send you the exercise to your WhatsApp, WhatsApp um, chat, everybody. So take a good look at that. And we're going to open the breakout rooms right now. So everybody, please join the groups and uh, we're going to start working on this exercise. Everybody, please join the breakout rooms.
Fíjense que la imagen no me quiere cargar, así que voy a hacer un método alternativo. Ojalá que funcione. Sí, va a funcionar. Ok. Ahí está. Okay. Okay, everybody, you can check what's up right now. I just sent you the picture. Everybody, you can check what's up now. I just sent you the picture. I'm going to join the breakout rooms, okay? It's Hola, maestro. Hello. Okay, do you have number one? Uh, I think it has been raining for two hours. It has been raining for two hours. That is correct. It's raining. The rain stopped two hours ago, so it has been raining for two hours. That is good. Okay. okay. I have to visit the other rooms. See you later. See you later. Bye. We started waiting. We started waiting. Hello. Uh -huh. Hi. Okay. Do you have number two? Two. Este, we have. It, it's ah. free, it, it has raining for two hours. Right? That's ah, number. OK, you can tell me number one. How about number one? It's raining. The rain started two hours ago. So using present uh -huh. perfect continuous, we have? It has raining for two hours. Faltó uh -huh. una palabra ahí. It, it has? It has raining for it, two hours. Entre has y it raining, has, falta una palabra. It has been raining. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Okay. It raining. has been raining for two hours. Okay. Okay. Uh, we I'm I'm going to go into a different room now. See you later. I think uh -huh. Hello. 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 Do you have number two? Yes. You have the answer to number two? Okay. So we are waiting for the bus. We started waiting 20 minutes ago. We have been. We have waiting. been waiting. We have been waiting uh -huh, for. 20 minutes for 20 minutes okay we have been waiting for 20 minutes very good okay thank you i'm going to visit a different room now see you later sure. hello Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. Uh, num do you have number three now? Do you have the answer to number three? Hello? Mm, no, no. <laughs> uh, number two? Yes, we have been waiting for 20 minutes. We have been waiting for 20 minutes. Okay, good. ¿Alguna en particular en que tengan dificultad? En el 3 el verbo sería learn. Yes. Learning. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, so, so, entonces sería I have been learning since since January. since January. Aunque podríamos completarlo con la palabra French. French. Uh -huh. I have been okay. learning French since January. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Let's continue. And uh, in one minute, we're going to close the breakout rooms. Okay. okay. Sure. All right. See you later. Okay, everybody, I'm going to give you one more minute and then we're going to close the breakout rooms. All right. Okay. Number one, it's raining. The rain started two hours ago. Volunteer, please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Sulma. It has been raining for two hours. It has been raining for two hours. Let's see. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Sulma. Number Thank two, you. we are waiting for the bus. We started waiting 20 minutes ago. Volunteer, please raise your hand. Digital hand. Uh-huh. Okay, Kimberly wants to participate. I don't know if it's correct, but I try. I Let's try. try. Let's try. We have been waiting for the bus for 20 minutes. We have been waiting for the bus for 20 minutes. Okay, that is correct. We have been waiting for the bus for 20 minutes. Good, thank you. Sure. Number three, I'm learning French. I started classes in January, volunteer. Marvin and Sandra, number four. Okay, so Marvin, number three, Sandra, number four. I have been learning since January. Since January. Okay, good. You can say, I have been learning. Whoops, there's a mistake right there. It should not be Spanish, but French. Let me correct this French. I apologize. Okay. Uh, I have been learning French since January. That's good. Thank you, uh, Marvin. Sandra, do you have number four? Jessica is working in a supermarket. She started working there on March 15th. She has been working since or since March 15th. Okay, she has been working. Nada más que habría que completarla ahí con un par de palabras más. She has been working. In a supermarket. In a supermarket. Uh -huh. Good, thank you. Uh, Jessica has been working in a supermarket since March 15th. Very good. Number five. Volunteer, please. The last one. Mm-hmm. Who can tell me? Mm 
Nadie tiene las cinco. Come on. Sin miedo al éxito. Vamos. Ok. Rebeca. Our friends always spend their holidays in Italy. They started going there years ago. I think is they have been spending their holidays in Italy for years. Correct. Our friends have been spending their holidays in Italy for years. Correct. Thank you, Rebecca. Very good. That's present perfect continuous. Si se fijan, siempre lleva ben. Siempre. Siempre lleva ben y siempre lleva un verbo en ing. Okay. Now we're going to practice the question form. This is the question form. Como regla general, para hacer las preguntas siempre en inglés, por lo general, ¿verdad? Lo que vamos a hacer es cambiar el sujeto y el verbo de posición. Cambian de lugar y ya está la pregunta. Ahora empezamos con have or has, then the subject, then been, and then the verb in ing, and a question mark. Have I been watching TV? Have you been watching TV? Have we been watching TV? Have they been watching TV? Has he been watching TV? Has she been watching TV? Has it been watching TV? That's it. You begin with have or has, and then you have the subject. And after that, you use been. And after that, you use the verb in ing. We're going to practice the question form, but this time we're not going to work in the breakout rooms. I need volunteers right now. You meet Paul as he is leaving the swimming pool. And then you ask, you swim. A question using present perfect continuous. What would that be? Vamos. ¿Quién se atreve? Mm -hmm. Sandra. Uh, has you been swimming in, okay. in the pool? Okay, good. But we cannot has say you. has you because has, has is you, have you, have have you, you right? Been, have you been swimming? Have you been swimming? Okay. Have you been swimming? Good. Thank you. What about number two? You have just arrived to meet a friend who is waiting for you. You ask. Vamos a cambiar esto para hacerlo un poquito, para que no nos confundamos. Queda mejor así. Okay, just give me a second. Ok, sí está mejor, menos confuso. So, you have just arrived to meet a friend who is waiting for you. You ask, what is the question? Kimberly. The question is, how long have you been waiting? How long have you been waiting? Correct, ok, very good. How long have you been waiting? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado esperando? Good. Always remember how long is, cuánto tiempo? How long have you been waiting? Good. Number three, you meet a friend in the street. His face and hands are dirty. So you ask, volunteer, please. Rebecca. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? Okay, good. What have you been doing? Number four, your friend is now working in a store. You want to know how long. So, volunteer, please. Raise your hand. Vamos, sin miedo a participar, que veo que siempre los mismos participan, los mismos participan. Excelente que participen, mucho. Pero también quiero escuchar a los demás, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Um, Let's see, let's see. Okay, Kimberly wants to participate. Okay, Kimberly, thank you. Okay, the question is, how long have you been working there? How long have you been working there? 
Correct. Very good. How long have you been working there? Great. And number five, your friend has a job selling cell phones. You want to know how long? Volunteer, please. Vamos, sin miedo al éxito ni al fracaso. Kimberly quiere participar, pero ya Kimberly ya me participó, participó bastante. Vamos a ver. Marvin, Marvin. I need to practice. So yeah, I, I know, I know. So, yeah, that's correct. I, I know. I don't, I don't have to be shy. So. That's good. No shy. That's great. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. But, but also we need to uh, uh, give the opportunity to more people. So uh, Marvin, let's see. Number five. How long have you been selling cell phones? How long have you been selling cell phones? Correct. Very good. Okay. Great. Pero ahí vi también Neidy quería participar. Bueno, para la siguiente. <laughs> okay. Um, everybody, thanks for your participation. Before we continue, antes que sigamos, quisiera saber... Um, si tienen consultas sobre los ejercicios de la plataforma. Eh, ahora en la tarde estuve viendo que había, alguien estaba pidiendo ayuda con ejercicio ya de la sección 3. Como habíamos dicho, no hay problema con adelantarse. Si usted necesita ayuda, aquí podemos resolver también, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si tienen preguntas sobre ejercicios de la plataforma antes de continuar a la última parte de la clase. Ok, Zulma. Sí, las cláusulas. Eh, ah, usted está. Poner, eh, Ajá. Sí. Usted me preguntó, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, ahí. Ok. Sí, Vamos entonces. Vaya. Esto, quiero ver dónde está. Aquí está. Veamos, eso sería hasta la sección 3, ¿verdad? Sería 3.3. Uy, 3 point, vamos a ver, creo que sería esta, knowledge check. 2.10. Ok. Knowledge check. Sí, esta es, cabal. Ok, ¿Qué, ¿qué es esta parte? Bueno, de nuevo, no hemos visto esto, así que va a ser una explicación bien general. Vamos a cubrir esto esta misma semana, por cierto. Ok, viernes a más tardar. Aprovecho para hacer de su, del conocimiento general que el 15 de septiembre, por ser un día feriado, no vamos a tener clase. Sin embargo, la clase no se pierde. Así que eso significaría que vamos a tener nuestra clase el día viernes. Así que tenemos clase mañana, que es miércoles, el jueves descansamos y el viernes habría clase, ¿verdad? Para reponer eso y que no nos atrasemos. Ok, instructions, rewrite answers using relative clauses. Ok, you have to write one whole sentence. Remember, you may use who or that for people and which or that for things. Follow the example. Who is Ang Lee? He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. Pero este Hulk, no el que vemos ahora, sino un Hulk de, eh, como del año 2003. So he's a movie director who made the film Hulk. Or, he's a movie director that made the film Hulk. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Lo mismo, ¿verdad? Who is Ang Lee? He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. Veamos, Zulma, eh, ¿qué había contestado usted? Vamos a ponerlo acá, grande. Uh -huh. eh, es que piense que la primera... Y la tercera me parece que me salieron buenas, pero... Ah, ok. Bueno, ahí en la primera, ajá, ahí en la dos y la... La no, dos, que me salieron en, en, en la dos tuvo problemitas, vale, vamos. Have you sí. heard of Pirates okay. of the Caribbean? Yes, it's an action movie. It starts, it stars, sorry, Johnny Depp. Entonces vamos a poner las dos oraciones aquí. Dice, it's an action movie. It stars Johnny Depp. Ok. ¿Qué se hace en este caso? 
lo que tenemos que hacer es combinar las dos oraciones en una utilizando un relative pronoun. Y así tenemos un relative clause. De nuevo, si nos confundimos un poquito con esto ahorita, no se preocupen porque esta misma semana la voy a explicar en detalle. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo se va a hacer esto? Tenemos, eh, si me dice Zulma lo que había contestado. Sí, eh, dice, it's an action movie. Eh, uh -huh. Who? Who? Primero había puesto who, pero eh, vi que... Permítame. Parece que who... Ajá, who y that es para personas. Ajá. Y which y that es para cosas. Uh -huh. Entonces, supuse yo que como estábamos hablando de una película, era o which o that. Así es. Pero me salió, which. Me salió mal. Veamos, it's an action movie, which, y luego seguimos, stars, stars Johnny, Johnny Depp. Esa es la respuesta. It's an action movie, which stars Johnny Depp. Ocupamos which porque no estamos hablando de Johnny Depp, estamos hablando de la película. Si estuviéramos hablando de Johnny Depp, entonces sí, ocuparíamos who. Es una película de acción la cual protagoniza Johnny Depp. As a pirate, Jack Sparrow. Eh, pero fíjense que así la puse, como intenté miles de veces. Ajá. No sé. No le salió. Claro, si... Ajá. Bueno, aquí no tengo sé. yo. Ah, le puso el yes. No. Ajá, ahí está. Creo que lo que toma en cuenta es todo lo que dice acá, ¿verdad? Yes, coma, it's an action uh, movie. Ah, pues lo mismo ha de haber pasado en la... It stars Johnny Depp. Number mm -hmm. four, yes. Ajá. Number four, veamos. Did you enjoy John Grisham's latest novel? Oh, yeah. He writes some excellent books, let me tell you. Really good books. <laughs> yes, it was a great book. It was hard to put down. Era difícil cerrarlo. Tan bueno que era el libro. Entonces vamos a ocupar siempre yes enterito porque al parecer así está programada ya la respuesta y si no le ponemos yes la va a poner mala. Como estas respuestas son, um, no las revisa una persona sino que ya está determinada. Así que si a usted le falta una letra de la palabra ya se lo va a poner mal aunque tenga todo bueno. Si lo calificara un ser humano, tal vez puede ser más flexible. Decir, bueno, le faltó el signo de admiración, ¿verdad? Se lo voy a poner bien, porque no lo voy a poner mal por un signo. Pero a veces eso es lo que sucede y nos frustramos un poco al poner la respuesta porque, pues, es bien específico. Ok, ¿cómo sería en este caso? Yes, it was a great book. It was hard to put down. Vamos a copiar esto, que sea más rapidito. Ok. Yes, it was a great book. It was hard to put down. ¿Cómo nos quedaría eso? Veamos. What would be the answer to this? Mm -hmm. Como estamos hablando del libro, mm -hmm. puede ser that o... Or... Or which, ¿verdad? It was great. Book. It was a great book. That was hard to down. That, o oh, podemos ocupar which, ok. Which. Was hard to put down. Let's change this. Ajuste de línea. Ok, yes, it was a great book, which was hard to put down. Yo les puse a todos which, ok. Pero se puede that también. It was a great book that was hard to put down or it was a great book which was hard to put down. Aquí lo tengo. Eh. So yes, it was a great book which was hard to put down. De nuevo, si esto nos causa problema, no entremos en pánico porque el viernes, probablemente bueno, tal vez mañana mismo comencemos, pero si no el viernes a más tardar, vamos a ver esto en mayor detalle. Porque okay, para esta... Teacher, yes. es importante porque en una de las secciones del examen de medio lo estuve revisando y ahí aparece algo. Uh -huh. Así es, uh -huh. así es. Sí, tenemos que ver eso en, en mayor detalle, pero todavía nos falta llegar hasta ahí. Ok, okay le agradezco mucho. Bueno, ok. So, uh, going back, 
let's see, 8.57. Oh my God, we're about to finish. Let's go back to the presentation. Okay. Vamos a ver. Probablemente solo vamos a comenzar este ejercicio. Complete the conversations. Use the present perfect continuous. Only present perfect continuous. Some, are, some um, items are affirmative. Some are negative. Or there is one that is negative. And there are questions. Okay. So what about the first one? What you and the verb is do lately? It's a question. So using present perfect continuous. Continuous, I'm sorry. What is the question? Kimberly? Uh, is, uh, what have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Correct. And the answer is, well, I, blah, 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 spend my free time at the beach. Volunteers, please. Sin miedo. Lo peor que puede pasar es que lo voy a corregir. <laughs> Respetuosamente. Ok, Sandra. Uh, well, I have been spending my free time at the beach. I have been spending my free time at the beach. Very good. Thank you. Number two, it's a question. So, volunteer, please. Uh -huh. Kim wants to participate again. Ok, Kim. Okay, and then you. Maritza. Okay, Maritza for the answer. So, uh, Kim, letter A, Maritza, letter B. Okay, have you been working part-time this year? Have you been working part-time this year? Correct, very good. Maritza, do you have B? Yes, I have. I? Yes, I have. I have B, my B. I have B, been I making. Have Yes. Uh -huh. Good. I have been making drinks at coffee time. That's the name of the business for the past few months. Correct. Very good. Number three. It's a question. Vamos, quiero escuchar voces distintas. Súper bien los que me participan. Excelente. Pero también quiero que los que no me están hablando mucho, quiero escucharlos también. Quiero asegurarme que, que están entendiendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Volunteer, please. Come on, come on. A veces muchos se lo piensan y yo participo, no participo, participo, no participo. Y cuando vienen a levantar la mano, alguien le gana. Ay, ya no pude. Ajá. Volunteers, please. Okay, Rodrigo, Daniel, number three. How have you been feeling presently? How have you been feeling recently? Correct. Very good. Letter B. Volunteers. Kim. Okay, great. I've been getting a lot of sleep. I've been getting or I have been getting a lot of sleep. Can you complete the second one? And, and I haven't. I, I haven't. haven't as much since I start my diet. Can you repeat that, please? I haven't. And I haven't been, I haven't been eating uh -huh. as much. Science, I start my diet. Okay, I haven't been eating as much. Uh, pronunciation of this word is uh, since. since. Okay. Uh -huh. since. I okay. haven't been eating okay. as much since okay. I started my diet. Correct, okay. very good. Okay. And the last one, so we can finish the class. It's a question. What is the question? Rebecca. Have you been getting enough exercise lately? Have you been getting enough exercise lately? And the answer will be final volunteer, please. No, I haven't. I I have been studying. I have been studying a lot. Yeah, correct. I'm sorry, I <laughs> perdón por interrumpirle. Okay, a lot for a big exam. Correct. Okay. Very good. Okay, with that, we finished. So we're going to go into the platform right now. We're on 2.8. Uh, 
deberían ahorita todos más o menos estar, bueno, después de esta clase, por supuesto, en esa sección, ok, en esa parte, la 2.8, 2.8, everybody, so we're going to go there, what can happen to you, three questions. So, it's waiting. Okay, so 2.7, 2.8. Okay, en el knowledge check. De hecho, ya que prácticamente ya cubrimos eso, por favor, necesito que todos lleguen a la parte 2.10, ¿verdad? Ya para esta clase, por ahí tenemos que ir. Acuérdense del mensaje que recibieron por WhatsApp. Para el día viernes ya tendríamos que haber completado toda la sección 3 y además. Eh, también eh, la evaluación. Así que, eh, según estaba leyendo, tiene que ser antes de la clase. Por lo tanto, vamos a hacer el esfuerzo por eh, cubrir ese tema también sobre los uh, relative clauses el día de mañana. Ya medio vimos una explicación, pero el día de mañana vamos a tratar de verlo con mayor detalle para que puedan hacerlo ustedes antes de la clase del viernes, que es que se requiere que ya esté resuelto eso. ¿Verdad? Así que, um, hacer el esfuerzo. Everybody, thank you uh, for your time and thank you for attending this class. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good okay. night. Tomorrow. Thank you. Take, Take care. Bye. Take good care. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.